Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Amna Kamar and I am working as a consultant hematologist in Dr. Ziauddin Hospital. The topic which I am going to discuss today is iron deficiency anemia. So iron deficiency anemia, first of all, it is basically the level of hemoglobin which is declined. It's known as anemia and when it is caused because of the iron deficiency, it is known as iron deficiency anemia. According to WHO, it is one of the most common cause in uh, women of reproductive age who is getting anemia and 29% of the women all over the world are anemic. This percentage is quite high in Southeast Asia and it's around 41% and in Pakistan, half of our women are suffering from anemia. It is truly said that iron deficiency is uh, mainly a feature of women and for a male, it is uh, almost like that. It has to be all four to five years to get an iron deficiency. But for females, different, due to different physiological and pathological condition, it is common and it is they are prone to get iron deficiency early in their life, especially in the reproductive age. And uh, the causes, of course, it includes the poor socio uh, socioeconomic state of our country, the unhealthy diet, the imbalanced diet, improper intake of nutrients like B12, folate and iron in our diet, pregnancy and lactation, miscarriages, abortions, different sorts of infections like H. pylori and hookworm infect, uh, infections, different uh, ways by which iron is lost in the body, for example, from the urinary tract, from the GI tract, different bleeding disorders which can secondarily lead to iron deficiency. So there are multiple and uh, multiple causes of iron deficiency which can lead to anemia in women of reproductive age as well as in children. When we talk about iron deficiency anemia, uh, in the first stage it is the body iron stores which are depleted. They compensate for the decline in hemoglobin. At that point you are not anemic because the iron stores are utilized to compensate for the degree of anema anemia. But later on, as the uh, iron deficiency progresses, as the stores are exhausted, the anemia manifests, uh, like hemoglobin goes down. And in the third stage, where there's a classical symptomatic appearance of anemia with its classical manifestations, tissue uh, impairment and the other uh, symptomatic attributes which can be visible from the condition of the patient. Uh, one has to be very much alert regarding the symptoms of iron deficiency and it includes shortness of breath, palpitations, uh, irregular uh, menstrual periods and uh, deficiencies may uh, present like inability to concentrate or focus on a work, uh, palpitations, rapid heartbeat and cold fiends, cold extremities and pillar of the ski, uh, skin, uh, fragility of the nails thinning of the hair, these all are the different symptoms by which a person can present with iron deficiency. CBC is a baseline test which a physician or a hematologist orders or a gynecologist orders to see the hemoglobin levels in CBC. Once the CBC is done, it directs you towards the diagnosis of anemia but for iron deficiency anemia. but Iron profile must be done if there is any indication in the CBC that uh, the person is suffering from iron deficiency anemia. So after CBC, iron profile must be done and along with that in our part of the world, other nutri uh, nutrition deficiencies like B12 and folate are also important. So in, col in, uh, in collaboration with iron deficiency, iron profile has to be done along with the B12 and the RBC folate levels. Iron deficiency can have uh, adverse outcomes uh, once a person is anemic, when a person is iron deficient initially, it's only the body stores are depleted, you are not anemic, the body is compensating for it. But later on as the deficiency progresses, so it can have devastating effects, especially in uh, female of reproductive age and there can be the pregnancy complications like uh, stillbirth, intrauterine growth restrictions, abortion, miscarriages, prematurity. The children can also have different uh, outcomes of iron uh, deficiency in their daily activities, inability to perform uh, up to the mark in school, 
and uh, dif- uh, inability to concentrate these are different uh, manifestations which can prove uh, to be really compromising the life uh, daily life activities when the person is uh, iron deficient treatment options uh, the important thing regarding iron deficiency is anemia is that you have to un- identify the underlying cause this is very important because uh, once the underlying cause is identified has to be treated iron deficiency needs to be replen- uh, needs to be identified and then the cause has to be investigated that what is the prime cause of iron deficiency and that has to be treated of course iron uh, repl- uh, replacement has to be done and that can be done oral or parenterally and depending upon the deficit uh, calculated you have to be given iron supplements either orally or parenterally but ac- uh, along with that the underlying cause needs to be identified and needs to be treated also